All right. Let's finish what we started here. And then roll on to their next province and finally get me some light cavalry. You see, this is what happens when you don't have light cavalry. Like, so many of them end up surviving and you have to just deal with, it, deal with this war of attrition. And I didn't even get that good of a map here. There's not much tree cover, honestly. I'm going to have to concentrate my force here. Yeah, that's a pretty sucky map overall. I'm going to lead this one unit of Yari Ashigar out of the group because I don't want to lose it. I don't think the AI is going to skirmish us. I don't think they're going to skirmish us, but I might be wrong. I think I might have archer superiority. This is why you want to get rid of those archers. Prioritize it as much as you can. I'm going to bring the Yari Samurai here just to draw fire if I can, if that's possible. There's Bo Samurai. There's two Bo Samurai here at pretty good strength. I'm going to try drawing fire with the Bo Samurai. Sorry, with the Yari Samurai. Because the, the AI is programmed to target the highest value unit and that usually means samurai now this is one scenario where fire arrows would have been very very useful where are you targeting okay they're not targeting the bow samurai never mind that get out of there men get out of the situation quick they're sending in the yari ashigato just piecemeal forward like that okay Then I will I will happily accept this exchange. Just don't take the bait, just advance slowly and then let them run into your prepared formation like this. Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord. Still gonna take a lot of losses thanks to the Bow Samurai. It's th most of the casualties are gonna be inflicted by Bow Samurai. That's the part that sucks here so much. Let's get the stand and fight ready. Yeah, they're, they're trying to go for the Yadi Samurai. Trying really hard. Sorry, not you. I have no idea what they're trying to do right now. Now, the reason I'm taking the fight on this relatively flat terrain is I want to obstruct. I want to give the bows a really bad firing angle. Instead of firing directly into my men, they have to do plunging arrow fire, which does somewhat dull the effect of that. Where are you even tar- Oh, they're targeting- Oh. Oh, oh no, that's bad. I don't want my- I don't want my general's horses to be scattered. Get in there. Rapid advance. 50 kills on the Katana Samurai. Not bad. Not bad. Just come on. I just got to really, really push. <clears throat> got to really, really push. And take the fight to those both Samurai now while they're stuck in a really bad spot on the bottom of the hill. In trees as well. You might take some losses because of the general. If he charges into our swords. That should be the army losses. I think they may have gotten the general. No, no, we're continuing. We're finishing off this job here. 
I'm gonna get rid of those both samurai real quick. Oh, go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get moving. Get moving. Get moving. I hope I get the auto resolve finished. Like, at least get the settlement. I, I want to replenish my units. But at this rate, I might actually get to rank 5 pretty quickly and actually get the pirate trait. So I might get a few turns to use it. To be fair, though, it's not like there's many traits competing for my attention. Like, there's nothing else I can really do to decisively strengthen him. I don't need more Daimyo Honor. Intimidating is kind of nice, but... It is, it's also a rank 6 skill, so it's going to be a really long time. We're already one third of the way there, roughly. Alright. Go! Yeah, I'll gladly pillage it. I don't want the Katana Dojo here. Or the Bow Dojo. Actually, I might keep that. I might turn this into a fortress. And just like that, I think I can get me another vassal. I think I can make the Matsuda into... Yeah, I, I'm going to make them into a vassal real quick. That is oh my god. Speak your piece. How much money are you going to give me? They actually need money. Okay, 1,000 cocoa is not bad. I'll take it. Trade agreement. I don't have a land route, so I won't take it. It's going to actually lose me money. Like Trading loses you money if your ports are getting blockaded. And uh, yeah, so we have uh, neutralized that threat. I don't expect them to stay loyal for much longer. All right. All right. So we got these three cavalry units. I think we are close. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they're no longer a threat to me. I still need the fire arrows, though. They're, I can't take on this navy without fire arrows. One turn. Oh, and they are building. They are building a merchant. I, I feel. I keep on postponing this. This whole thing. They're still at war though with the Aito clan now instead of Sagara. But, I, man. What are Metsukes? Are they all? Okay, they're all ranked up right now. I'm gonna take that and instantly get access to another Metsuke. Probably. I'm probably gonna actually throw a market here just to get. Another Metsuke slot. Let's get another Bokabai out. Our son in there is also rank 3, which means even if my Daimyo for whatever reason dies right now, uh, we're not going to really have any issues with general loyalty. So that's good, right? It might also be time to start considering, you know, building another stack here. Uh, and maybe peel off one of these generals. Yeah, I'm going to get two Wako Raiders. I'm willing to take the loss in case the province gets lost and throw in some more Yari Ashigaru. Get, I think five is the magic number. And they need to throw in some light cavalry as well. Nauchi. <laughs> they pretty much vacated these provinces here. Great. Dauchi. Meanwhile, Hatano and Yamana are just grinding themselves to the into the dust. 
and now we get to we get to harvest the fruits of your labors uchi i'm so sorry it had to come to this but first yeah i need to i need to end the alliance to be fair i could i could just absorb the daimyo honor at this point and that's an easy victory That's a pillage. I'm going to keep that. Keep that. Oh. Oh. Forget about. I just realized. Forget about that base. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop. That recruitment. I'm actually going to demolish this. I do not want that to follow in, to fall into the hands of the AI. Get back there. You should board that ship at the soonest, at the earliest possible time. I'm going to go for, I don't think I really need this. Daimyo Honor is really carrying the the day here. I want Firebomb Kobayas. Those are uh, a winning. Uh, those, those are a winning. Uh, those are a, basically a win button. I'm going to happily use my funds to build that. Because I also know that the AI likes to... It sometimes lands forces here or over here. And I want to have... I want to make sure I have strong points spread out. So this one over here. This one over here is going to be a strong point, And then this is already a strong point. Move out. Gonna get a market here. I think I'll recruit the cavalry here and then ship them over. It's not worth wasting the whole building, building slot. It's gonna be mostly redundant. So I'll get three of you, I think, is good. Or two, maybe. I'm going to move these guys over. I want to vacate the settlement as quickly as possible. And we're good to go to the next turn. I should have recruited another Metsuke. I forgot about that. Oh, that's cute. But I'm not sure if that'll stop me from recruiting Wako Raiders. I'll see. I'm not sure if both buildings have to be intact. Uh, no. You are my vassal now? Uh, well, everyone's my vassal. Everyone. I have, I have a whole family of vassals right now. This is historically accurate. <laughs> Sengoku Jidai. Superior Ashigaru. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, that's ours now. It's a rich province. Not gonna pillage it anyway. It's already quite rich. I think, yeah, this is where the stables is gonna be. I could just move the units over here, but they might get intercepted on the way if my vassals rebel. How much is that? 2.1... 2, 2k on max taxes is great, especially since I only have three Metsukes right now. Now that we have that, I'm gonna place one in Awa. So... Oh wait, I should also build this up. Jujutsu Dojo, where is it? Yeah, plus two melee attack for all units. That includes the garrison. So yeah, we're going to get this guy here. I'm going to place him in Awa here. Very secure province now, especially after... Hmm. 
Yeah, I think it's time to ship units over. Even if it's winter, I think it's I think it's worth just speed, you know, speed is the name of the game. Oh wait. <laughs> I was just about to declare war on my recently christened vassal. I'll just I'll just land you over here. So my army can reinforce the settlement if Hatano has any fancy ideas, and now I have two armies in central Japan. Great. It's truly awesome seeing this. This whole expansion is going like clockwork. Kumere Tesoka. So I'm gonna move this army here. Block off the approach. And this will also stop the rebels, because the rebels usually spawn somewhere here, so he's in the perfect spot to stop them. Move over. You two get moving. I will happily throw in another market here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I should get you just want to melee attack sword infantry okay i'll take that extra movement range and let's see so that's nine morale eight morale on three xp ariashi got but they do have better stats overall and it's it's a fort so the tenshu is gonna and give us a much needed a much needed morale boost. I'll go for the Boashigaru actually. I think I'll Yeah, I'll go for the Boashigaru. I'm most probably going to get Ashigaru rebels so it makes more sense to go for. I think I'm going to repair this so I can immediately just throw on the Wako raiders. This guy also just got ranked up. Amazing. Uh, I'm tempted to take I don't need that I got a military port right here and I'm gonna I am going to just bravely attack attack as I like you, you just keep up the expansion and you never let up that's how this works that's the name of the game just keep yourself in high gear you're never gonna outperform the AI economically so why even bother you just keep on just just keep this tempo of constant expansion it does mean that you won't get to experience many of the late game units, but you know, I play the game. I try to play the game optimally as best I can, and that's sadly how it is. It's uh, really balanced in favor of Ashigaru. Well, what is going on there? Are you thinking of attacking my? Do not talk to me or my vassal ever again, yeah, Hatano. Ooh. Oh, they try. He tried. Oh, you scumbag. Scumbag, yo, he tried really hard. But I don't have anything to counter him with. I need to get I need to get a Buddhist monk somewhere. <laughs> I really do need to get some Buddhist monks. Either way, it's a win-win. Even if he does manage to bribe the settlement, I get to pillage it again. Like it's it's just it's just the winner's gambit, and Uchi has just adopted Christianity. Got a sword school in Nagato, so I will get the 2 XP Wako Raiders. Why are they 2 XP? Hang on. What made them 2 XP? It's Are these guys considered Ashigaru? Hang on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Why? So are these guys considered Ashigaru? Oh, I never knew that. Okay, so it seems it's a, an oversight, whatever, they were rushed into the game, and... Yeah, okay, it makes perfect sense. Anyway, let's uh, scout out this area real quick. Uh, Azai, who are you at war with currently? They're at war with everyone, yeah, I'm taking the chance. Hattori abandoned them as well. It's truly awesome. And we're gonna get stand and fight after this. 